Hi, I'm OTI instructor Jeff Lewis. Um, we know how important that right to left motion over the head for a righty is and that that racket drops back and comes around to the side. If it's something you th you've been struggling with or you think you can be doing better, here's a couple drills that could really help you with it for speed, for spin, for all those things. I have a particular player at my club named Marvin who I think could just be doing these things a little bit better. So we're going to take a look at these two drills with Marvin and see if we can add a few miles an hour, add a little bit of consistency for his serve. Let's take a look. Hey Marvin, just to go over quickly what it is these drills are going to help you with. Um, I think you'll see initially right here, your racket really doesn't drop low or come around to the side. And what we're looking to do is get it to drop almost below your waist into this position. So that's what is going to build more kinetic energy with a longer, a deeper drop, a more of a lag between your racket. So let's see if these drills can help. So for this drill, Marvin, I think this is going to help you with a little bit with your, with, to get your racket moving more right to left over your head. And then it's also going to help you with your drop and getting the racket to come around more to the right side. And that's all going to help you get uh, power because the racket's going to build up more speed, but also spin because the racket's coming from further below the ball. So in other words, right now I think you cut it a little short back here where your racket doesn't get that full drop and doesn't come all the way around to the right. So now this drill, I don't want you to do it hard at all, just nice and easy, but what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna do your regular service motion. And what I want you to do is I want you to come around and just very gently tap the ball with the wrong side of your racket. So you're gonna come around, you're gonna do your full motion and then just very gently tap the ball with the wrong side of the racket. Yeah, just like that, just really nice and easy. Don't try to do it hard. There you go, just like that. Now get in character a little bit, pretend like you're really serving, like still think about how you start and then just tap it with the wrong side. Good, and a couple more times. So here, nice and easy, tap it with the wrong side. Good. Okay, so now what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna try to keep that in mind. You're gonna try to tap one with the wrong side and then the next one you're going to feel like you're going to go in with the wrong side and then you're going to turn to the hit. So what it's going to be, it's going to look like this. You're going to go wrong side. And the next one you're going to go wrong side, right side. Okay, and, tur and turn the ball out. So this one, go ahead and feel that wrong side of the racket come around to the ball. Good. Now this one, go wrong side, then right side. Good, there you go, nice. So one more time, wrong side. Good. Now this one go wrong side, right side. Good. Feel it? So it's going to make you be looser with that forearm link. Good. All right, so that was much better, Marvin. That's our first drill is just taking a ball, going in with the wrong side of the racket. It's going to help you get the feeling of collapsing this link, having the racket come around to the side more. Uh, it's an easy, quick way to get the feeling to do that. But I think also just to add that little few extra miles an hour you serve, Marvin, I want you to do a better job of getting separation between the body segments. In other words, each link coming a little lagging before the next as much as you can before the last link, which is the hand connected to the racket, comes around. So this is a good way, since that only happens for a very brief second after you push off the ground, we can anchor the last link in order for us to practice. So what you want to do is you want to take the racket in, or to, sorry, take the rope in your hand like that and just kind of put it on your shoulder like this. And I want you to be very loose. Take a deep breath when you do this. Relax, breathe out, and then feel your knee, pull your hip, pull your shoulder, pull the elbow. And I want you to feel that stretch all the way down through your body. And that's the loading feeling you want to have when you hit. So if you come back here like you're going to serve and feel that racket lag back and you'll feel that racket drop there. And if you just let go, you'll feel how it kind of builds into it. Yeah, so do that one more time. So you could practice, it's a good way to stretch out your shoulder too if you're, uh, before you hit some serves, but just tie it to a fence somewhere, take a short rope and just try to relax and then let that take some time and then feel each segment load into the next and then let go. And then when you go serve, we're gonna try to replicate that on the court as well.
The serve is, of course, the most important shot in tennis, and because so many players struggle with it, we now started offering one-day serve clinics. In these serve clinics, we'll break down your serve with video analysis and show you exactly what elements need to be fixed so that you can hit powerful serves. So if you're interested in finally developing a powerful serve with one of our serve clinics, click the link inside this video right now for all the details on upcoming serve clinics.